Yeah, it was huge. I, it was way bigger than we thought it would be. Apparently, it was a lot bigger than the 2019 one. Hamilton police were called to the area of Dalewood Avenue near McMaster yesterday afternoon. At its peak, police say the crowd grew to around 5,000 people. A lot of alcohol consumption, a lot of uh, activities that concerned us just in terms of safety, uh, safety for the people who are attending as well as safety for their neighborhoods. During that time, police arrested two people and they have been charged with breach of peace and disturbance. Men had to go back later in the evening after dark. Uh, we definitely experienced more hostility from the crowd. We had, uh, we had people throwing glass bottles, um, full cans of either alcohol or, or other substances uh, in the direction of the police cruisers on site and the officers on site. No serious injuries, but one police vehicle was damaged. The number of arrests have now grown to seven, and police say there will be more. After reviewing pictures and video of the car being flipped over, police are now looking for this man. He has brown hair, was wearing a blue baseball cap, and had a burgundy and yellow rugby shirt on. For any of those students who are captured on video, it, it potentially goes beyond the criminal charges just if they are in fact university students um, you know uh, this can have a damaging impact on them for time to, for some time to come the dean of students at McMaster says the university will be in contact with the students who took part there may be some outcomes or some consequences of their behavior if we can identify students who were uh, involved in egregious behavior mayor Fred Eisenberger says he can understand why students want to gather at homecoming and he has seen some pretty big parties in the past but nothing like this uh, not you know normally we see uh, you know a crowd of people and they're they're they're, they're partying and reveling on the street uh, you know does it does it has it escalated to this kind of vandalism and hooliganism no and police are still reviewing those pictures and videos from yesterday. They say they expect to release uh, more pictures of individuals who are wanted in the coming days, and they expect to lay many more charges. Adam.